I promise you. Yes, it will. It will hurt bad. <laughs> Mommy! Gracie's just kidding. Aren't you, Gracie? <laughs> yes, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, we're going to do it on three. Ready? One. Two. Are you sure you're ready? Daddy, it's good. see the bears like this. Honey, I thought you were coming to church with us today. No, God needs me here. Daddy, does God like the bears? Not like he used to. Good morning. Hey. Jim, you wearing your fancy boxers to church today? Oh, you're just mad because I can look so fine for a buck ninety-nine. <laughs> you come to church. You're going to love the new minister. He's smart and funny. He's a real regular guy. She ain't lying, Tex. This guy's the real deal. You'd be crazy to miss... Whoa, the bears are on? I thought they were the late game. Oh. Andy, what are you doing? I don't want to get cheese doodles on my church pants. <laughs> Come with us. I swear, honey, you're going to thank us when you meet the new reverend. Cheryl, if God wanted me in church right now, he would give me a sign. Touchdown, Philadelphia. It's Philadelphia 37, Bears 3, the Bears are going to kill. Good for me. Let's go. The point is, how many of us here really know God? Sure, Andy, why do you keep squirming? I've got a doodle in my pants. <laughs> Maybe the bigger question here is, how many of us would just pass him by without so much as a nod? I know this guy from somewhere. I've seen him before. So, Reverend Pearson? Yeah. And well, I, I do tend to have Pearson. <laughs> Pearson. prayers, Pearson. No, Jim, please. Time out. Time out. Time out. There is no time out in dodgeball. <laughs> I mean, his, his lip was swollen for like three weeks. He looked like a bird. And some jerk, you know, I can't remember who it was, but gave him the nickname Beaky. <laughs> Beaky? Yeah, that's pretty funny. Thanks. Cheryl, hi. hi. How are you, Dana? Hello. How are you? Hi, kids. It's nice to see you guys, as always. That was quite a sermon. Yeah, I think you talked a lot of people out of hell today. Uh. <laughs> I've been meaning to ask you about the... Church's toddler program, you know, I feel like Kyle's been on the waiting list for a really long time. Oh, I see. And you think the waiting list is for the other people's children? Hmm? <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> no, actually, I, I heard there's an opening. We'd love to have Kyle. Oh, great. I can't thank you enough. You hit a minister oh. with a dodgeball. <laughs> Keep bad mojo. If I were you, I'd go over there and apologize. For what? There are no timeouts in dodgeball. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna hang here till it's time to go. Jim. Yeah, right here. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, these arms are too short to box with God. Honey, honey, I want you to meet Reverend Pearson. Oh. Jim. Jim, hi. It's nice to finally meet you. You know, we were starting to think that Cheryl here was a single mom. <laughs> <laughs> nice to finally meet you, too. I mean, because we've never met before. Right, right. Uh, Reverend Pearson, we'd love to have you over for dinner sometime. Oh, well, that, 
Oh, wait a second. You guys aren't cannibals, are you? I did some missionary work in the Amazon. I gotta ask that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, but bear in mind, we just met. <laughs> Listen, um, can you talk to your boss about getting the Bears in the playoffs? I don't think you have to worry about the Bears. Word is, they just came back and won 42 to 38. I missed it! Damn it! <laughs> I mean... No, damn it! <laughs> Take that part of your brain that loves football and give it to Cheryl? Yeah, but then she'd also be repulsed by you. Uh, did you see that? Great chance. Cheryl, can you get it? I'm sitting. Oh. Oh, no. Reverend Pearson, I, I didn't expect... I, I mean, welcome. I was just in the neighborhood greeting lepers. <laughs> just joking. Is this a bad time? No, no, I come no in? please come great. in. Thank this you. is great. Come in. Turn down the TV. Get your face off the table. Honey, go make sure Daddy flushed. <laughs> Good to see you for the second time. Right. <laughs> Honey, get the man a chili dog. Jim, the Reverend doesn't want a chili dog. <sighs> you know, actually, I would love a chili dog. You know what they say about ministers who eat chili dogs? They have to sit in their own pew. <laughs> <laughs> well, sit down, sit down, man. Right? Sit down, please. <sighs> Well, you know, it's, uh, it's really refreshing to see people that don't take that whole body as a temple thing too seriously. <laughs> Sport. The one where the Scottish guys throw the trees. <laughs> yeah, I like to see that. Okay, let's cut the crap, Jim. <laughs> you know who I am. Yes. Yes. Yes, what? Yes. Beaky? <laughs> confidence builder for a awkward 12-year-old boy confused about the changes taking place in his body. <laughs> you know, it started as beaky, but then overnight it changed to freaky beaky. <laughs> Kids are clever that way. They like to build on a theme. <laughs> you know, nobody wanted to be friends with freaky beaky. Nobody wanted to date freaky beaky. <laughs> And nobody wanted to kiss. Freaky beaky. Yeah, but look at it now. I mean, here we are years later, <laughs> laughing, eating chili dogs. <laughs> Life's funny, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's funny. It's, it's funny how you can be up there preaching about love and forgiveness and, and then see the person who caused you so much humiliation. And then suddenly, all the anger starts to flood back in until all you want to do is just jump down off that pulpit and rip out his still beating heart. <laughs> Cheryl, how are you doing on those chili dogs? I will never forgive you for what you did to me that day, Jim. Never. I think you have to. <laughs> You're a minister. That's your job. Uh, yeah, you know, I actually, I thought about that, and guess what? I'm not gonna. What? You're gonna pay for what you did to me, Jim. How can you? Oh, look at this. Oh, what a perfect Sunday treat. Mm. I put the cheese on there in the shape of a cross so you'd feel more at home. Uh -huh. Oh, delicioso. <laughs> Even with the uh, vulgar religious symbolism there. <laughs> Well, 
you know, I probably should get going. Okay. But uh, this was really fun. Maybe we'll make this a weekly event. Like hell you will. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. You know, I actually like a strangely dark sense of humor. <laughs> I don't get it, but I like it. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys next week in church. Okay. Jim, you'll be there, right? Fat chance, nut job. <laughs> Where's the off switch on this guy? Hi, Reverend. Okay. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Fat chance, nut job? <laughs> if you call the timeout. There are no timeouts in dodgeball. I told you that. Well, still, you shouldn't have hit him. Well, maybe he could have dodged the ball. Honey, did you at least try to talk to him? Come on, he's weirder than a $5 bill. You know, the newer ones where the presidents have giant heads. I'm telling you, this guy is out to get me. Jim. He is. Honey, he's a minister. What do you think he's going to do? Oh, frogs, locusts. I got a bag of tricks, those guys. <laughs> hey, what's wrong with this chili? It's turkey chili. It's begun. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, this is she. Oh, no, no, there must be some mistake. No, because, you see, Reverend Pearson told me... He did it? Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, bye. What? Oh, what's that? What? That was the church. Kyle just got kicked out of the toddler program. Thanks, Jim. Thanks for being such a rotten little kid. Come on, what's the big deal? Kyle can pick his nose and eat paste anywhere. No, 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 Jim. This toddler program feeds into Hill Ridge Preschool, and kids from Hill Ridge get on the list of Sacred Cross Academy, which consistently places graduates in Ivy League schools. Cheryl, I think you're getting a little ahead of yourself here. I mean, come on, Kyle's still crapping his pants. <laughs> oh, I just can't believe this. I worked so hard to make this happen. <laughs> this is one of those silences where you want me to say I'm going to make it better, isn't it? <laughs> All right, I'll talk to him next Sunday. Oh, thank you, honey. All right, tell me where the rule book is. What rule book? You know, the religious one, the Bible. <laughs> there are a lot of good stories in there about compassion and forgiveness. I'm going to find every one of them and cram them down his throat. <laughs> I'll give you five bucks if you touch that lady's hair. <laughs> five bucks. Five bucks just to touch it. <laughs> Good morning. First reading today comes from Isaiah chapter 40, verse 1. <clears throat> I'm sorry, folks, I can't go on. Um, Jim, would you please stand? Don't worry, honey. I am prepared. I read the whole thing, even the Jewish part. <laughs> mm -hmm. Jim and I went to school together, and uh, well, he injured me during a, a dodgeball game, even though I had called a timeout. There are no timeouts in dodgeball, says you. <laughs> anyway, uh, I took my anger out on his family, and, and that was wrong. And, well, I've done a lot of soul searching this last week, and um, I still can't forgive him. And a man of God who can't forgive He's not a man of God at all. So I, I, I think it's probably best for everybody here if, if I just step down as your pastor. What? That's it. We're out of here. Jim, for God's sake, say something. Okay. <clears throat> um... Okay, 
Let's have a show of hands here. How many people believe that there are no timeouts in dodgeball? Hey, Marjorie, I'll see you at the bake sale. Hey, don't, don't shun me. He did it. Hey, girls. Well, at least you're still here. We can't drive. Mm. Why is everybody mad at you this time? Well, a long time ago, I played dodgeball with the Reverend Pearson. I'm only good at dodgeball. Other boys are afraid of her because she aims for their boy parts. No, that's not nice, honey. Although, a very good strategy. Anyway, I hit him with the ball. And I hurt him a little bit. And he's still mad at me. I mean, I was just a kid, and that's what kids do. I mean... I can draw a star. Where are you, Gracie? You know, I was hit hundreds of times by a dodgeball. I never held a grudge. I just threw the ball back. He should do that. What? He should throw the ball at you. There's a ball at the playground. Oh, honey. I think it's just a little more complicated than that. I mean, we're both grown men, and uh, do you think it would work? Yeah, get the baby's bottle. Hey. If you're here about Kyle, don't worry about it. I've already put him back in the toddler program. Thanks. Now I'd like to uh, settle our differences. Okay, well, um, if we're dueling, I'll choose Bibles at dawn. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? Nail me with it. Come on, come on, nail me come with on, it. Come on, Jim, that's like something a six-year-old would come up with. <laughs> Look, go ahead and hate me, all right? But if everybody who hated me quit their jobs, the city would grind to a halt. <laughs> Jim, I'm sorry. Could you please leave, okay? I'm, I'm kind of busy here, all right? A, a man accumulates a lot of memories in three weeks. <laughs> I, I, I've done some thinking, too, in this last week. And uh, what I did was probably as wrong as... That's you not knowing the rules. Okay, come on, I'm opening up here, man. I, I'm doing my best. You can come at least meet me seven-eighths of the way. Well, keep going. I, I'm not sure you've done your full eighth yet. <laughs> well, I just wish that we could go back to that moment and I could make it better. So, you mean you wouldn't hit me? Oh, no, I, I'd nail you. <laughs> but instead of laughing, you know, I probably would have walked over to you and helped you up and asked if you were okay. Now, I know it's 30 years too late, but are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. You don't want to really leave, do you? I do love this congregation. Oh, they love you, too. I mean, my wife, I've never seen her more excited about a guy who is not Russell Crowe. <laughs> you know, I actually get that a lot. I, th I think it's the beard and the shoulders and the uh, <clears throat> smoldering masculinity. I think it's right. <laughs> Please stay. Okay. Okay, but I'm just doing it because I want to get close to your wife. That's... <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm going to see you around, right? Right. Good. You know, I, I, I'm so used to calling you Beaky that I, I, I never... What is your real name, first name? Gaylord. <laughs> Ain't nothing to make fun of there! <laughs> what? I 
wasn't going to do it when you were looking. <laughs> Good game, huh? Yeah. Now this is Bears football. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Boy, you know, you were right. Uh, my pants are going to be perfectly clean for the 5 o'clock service. Touchdown! Yeah! yeah! silences where you want me to say I'm going to make it better, isn't it? <laughs> All right, I'll talk to him next Sunday. Oh, thank you, honey. All right, tell me where the rule book is. What rule book? You know, the religious one, the Bible. <laughs> there are a lot of good stories in there about compassion and forgiveness. I'm going to find every one of them and cram them down his throat. <laughs> I'll give you five bucks if you touch that lady's hair. <laughs> five bucks. Five bucks just to touch it. <laughs> Good morning. You know, I actually get that a lot. I, th I think it's the beard and the shoulders and the uh, <coughs> smoldering masculinity. I think it's <laughs> Please stay. Okay. Okay. But I'm just doing it because I want to get close to your wife. That's... <laughs> See you around, right? Right. Good. You know, I, I, I'm so used to calling you Beaky that I, I never. What is your real name, first name? Gaylord. <laughs> Ain't nothing to make fun of there. Where are you, Gracie? <laughs> you know, I was hit hundreds of times by a dodgeball. I never held a grudge. I just threw the ball back. He should do that. What? He should throw the ball at you. There's a ball at the playground. Oh, honey. I think it's just a little more complicated than that. I mean, we're both grown men, and uh, do you think it would work? <laughs> yeah, because the baby is bottle. <laughs> Hey. If you're here about Kyle, don't worry about it. I've already put him back in the toddler program. Thanks. Now I'd like to, uh, settle our differences. Okay, well, um, if we're dueling, I'll choose Bibles at dawn. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? Nail me with it. Come on, come on, nail me with it. Come on, Jim, that's like something a six-year-old would come up with. <laughs> Look, go ahead and hate me, all right? But if everybody who hated me quit their jobs, this city would grind to a halt. <laughs> Jim, I'm sorry. Could you please leave, okay? I'm, I'm kind of busy here, all right? A, a man accumulates a lot of memories in three weeks. <laughs> some thinking to in this last week and uh, what I did was probably as wrong as as you not knowing the rules okay come on I'm opening up here man I, I'm doing my best you come at least meet me seven eighths of the way well keep going I, I'm not sure you've done your full eighth yet <laughs> well I just wish that we could go back to that moment and I can make it better. 